Congratulations, Chloe. You are the winner of Cupcake Wars. I was so relieved. I was so happy. And for me to be the first vegan to really break through on this kind of setup is huge. Woo! You know her as the winner of Food Network's Cupcake Wars tonight in our Adventure to Slim. She's our special private chef. She wowed judges creating cruelty-free cupcakes that tasted better than anything with butter, dairy. Now she's showing us how to make scrumptious meals without sacrificing taste. The fabulous vegan chef, author of Chloe's Kitchen, Chloe Coscarelli, you have whipped up something fabulous. Show us and tell us. Okay, Jane, we've got avocado pesto pasta, all vegan, so easy to make. So this is great for working parents or college students. We're using fresh basil. We're using avocados, which are heart healthy fat, some lemon juice to brighten the flavor, pine nuts, which are a great source of protein, and a little drizzle of some olive oil, which is high in monounsaturated fats. Go for it, take okay. a bite. Guys, while you push in and get a tight shot of all the food she's talking about, you can come to me and I'm gonna have a bite of this because it looks so good. I've been working so hard. You know, we had a lot of breaking news today. Uh-oh, I might need a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Just go for it, a okay. big bite. So tell me about why this is uh, good for a, a weight loss program. This is great for a weight loss program because it's all fresh ingredients. It's all vegan. So mm -hmm. we have no cheese, but you're not going to miss that because there's tons of flavor from the basil and the avocados, which makes the texture very creamy and very delicious. Okay, so I want you to zoom in on that plate. Zoom in on it. Let's drop all the graphics and zoom in at home. All right, forward. here we Let's got it. it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. You would now, never usually, know that this was vegan. Usually, um, I think of pasta mm. as the guilty food. Recently, I found out that there's something called quinoa pasta that has a lot of oh, protein yeah. in it. We've got all different kinds of alternatives. So today we have brown rice pasta, uh -huh. which makes this dish totally gluten-free. Uh -huh. And actually, in my new cookbook, all of the recipes can be made gluten-free. And we, you can also use regular pasta, too. So I like Hold to say, pasta. use the, what the, you have okay. on hand. I want this to is see, the brown yeah, rice that's pasta. That's the brown rice pasta. So there is guilt free pasta that you can have. Let me mm -hmm. see, pick that up again. It's high in fiber, yeah. high in protein, yeah. and you cook it just like normal pasta, and it tastes the same, if not better. Let us know what you think. I think right, it has I'm a really right now. nice, you think chewy should, bite. Guys? Come on, let's <laughs> go for I can't it. Talk like it. Okay, here's the thing. Yes. Um, everybody says to me, you know, everybody knows I'm a vegan, you're a vegan, this is vegan food. Mm -hmm. you, when you say, oh, you're going to miss the cheese, I don't miss no the way. cheese. Mm -mm. I, I, don't, I haven't eaten cheese in 16 years. Okay? I totally agree. It's just not true. And I think if the flavor mm. is there and the texture, mm. that's all that matters. Mm. <laughs> Tell you us like about it? the pesto, it's fantastic. The pesto is, it's creamy and it's made with no cheese. So traditionally, people put cheese, lots of oil. Instead, we use avocado, which is a natural vegetable. It's a great ingredient. So and an, an avocado provides the fat and then the basil itself provides the pesto flavor, right? Exactly. And, and then I like to season it with some sea salt and pepper and a splash of lemon juice, which brightens the flavor. And so good. some garlic. So good. Who doesn't love garlic? So good. 